Okay, Matek did it again. One more time. It's almost like a tradition now. Matek has the most interesting flight controller design for airplanes on the market period. It's called the F405 WTE Wing 3rd Edition and has both Express LRS receivers and Wi-Fi telemetry. What I have over here is the prototype version of the Matek F405 WTE. Prototype because it has the green PCB, however the production versions will have the blue PCB on the top layer and also on the bottom layer. If we would ignore the antennas for the moment, this would look very very similar to the F405 WSE, the second edition. It's a two PCB flight controller when the bottom one is the power section while the top one is the electronics. It has the OSD, it has the black box, it has 10 PWM outputs, it has the MPU 6000, 6 UARDs, I2C and 3 analog to digital converters. Works up to 6S, has 132 amps current sensors, has a lot of voltage stabilization, can provide 5 volt 2 amp for the internal electronics and the peripherals can provide 5 amps, yes, quite a lot of amps for the servos with 5 and 6 volt option and has 1 8 volt 1.5 amps for the VTX and the camera. And if you would stop over here, this would be just another iteration of the wing flight controllers from Matek. However, because of the two of the 2.4 gigahertz antennas you can see over here, this is not all. Originally I thought that this is the diversity receiver, however I was wrong, because this antenna is indeed for the internal Express LRS 2.4 GHz receiver. You flash it, you bind it with your Express LRS transmitter and everything works just fine, but without the diversity. However, this antenna connected over here is for something completely different, because this antenna is for the Wi-Fi telemetry. If you flash it with the correct firmware, you you can use the Wi-Fi telemetry to connect to your mission planner or QGC over the Wi-Fi. So, Ardupilot, Mavlink, over-the-air telemetry, everything should be working perfectly without having to connect any kind of the USB wires to the flight controller. And that's one very interesting flight controller, don't you think? If you do or don't, write what you think about this flight controller in the comments, let's have a nice discussion. In the meantime, if you would like to know more about the interesting flight controllers, here's the video for you. I'm Paweł Spychalski, thank you very much for watching and, like always, happy flying!